Hello everyone. Welcome to another DAML training and education team video. The following video is a walkthrough of a reference application intended to help DAML learners understand how to code some of the major functions and common constructs provided within many DAML applications. The use case of the reference application is based on a digital wallet for asset exchange. You'll start the application, which is hosted on the DAML hub, our hosted runtime environment, by navigating your browser to wallet.daml.app. But before you start to use it, you'll need an account on DAML Hub. If you already have one, use it to log into the Wallet app. If you don't have a DAML Hub account, you'll be guided to the DAML Hub homepage where you can register for a free account. Once you have your account credentials, you'll use them to log into the Wallet app. Now let's have Max give you a walkthrough. Hi, I'm Max. Again, the purpose of the Wallet app is to provide a working example that gives developers a more interactive learning journey and concrete learning examples utilizing common workflows of digital asset exchanges. I've logged in here and on the right-hand side, we have an active guide which will walk you through all the step-by-step -step workflows related to digital asset exchanges, such as issuance transfers, atomic swaps, and more. You'll also see that we've integrated additional learning info at each screen and at each workflow with live links to docs to better assist the learning journey. For example, if I click on the top right-hand side here, you can see the party ID and you can also see what it is and what it's used for. Now in this demo, I will show you four workflows, account creation, asset issuance, ownership transfer, and atomic swaps. Let's start with the first one, account creation or account issuance. The issuance of an asset involves two steps. So let me go and click on the create button here to create an asset type. First, I need to give it a name. Since I'm the issuer, I will just call this Max Coin. This is similar to creating a currency account at a bank. Now let me go ahead and hit Create. Once that's been created, I want to do the second step, which is to issue some quantity of Max Coin to myself. So you can see at the start we have a balance of zero, and I'll go ahead and give myself 100 Max Coin by clicking on the Issue slash Airdrop button. Now, once we've completed this issuance workflow, you can see that my balance is updated right here. I can also send the tokens to another user. Let's start to do the ownership transfer workflow. To accomplish this, on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm going to be minimizing this browser window a little bit so that I can expose and simulate a second user running on a separate device. This user has a different party ID and is using the app on a mobile device. So here you see both users, each with different party IDs, one using a browser and the second on an iPhone. In order for the right-hand side user to receive my newly created Max Coin, the right-hand side user needs to be a Max Coin account holder. So as the issuer, I can invite the right-hand side user using that iPhone user's party ID. So clicking on the top, I can copy and paste the party ID. Then going back to the left-hand side, this is the account page. I can just click invite and paste the recipient ID here and hit send. Now on the right-hand side, you will soon see a pop-up, and you can see that there is an account invitation. I'll go ahead and simulate user 2 accepting the invitation. Once they've accepted that, let's go back to my account. And I will be able to see MaxCoin with a balance of zero. Let's go to our MaxCoin. You can see that I have 100 at the moment. And let's go ahead and click Send and I can paste the party ID into 90. So once I've sent that on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see an asset transfer invitation. And what I'll have to do is that I will have to accept the transfer request. Now that it's been accepted, we can go back to the My Asset Accounts and we can see a balance of 90. Finally, let's go through the swap workflow. And here I've created an asset account called Rare Assets with a quantity of five. And I'll do this swap workflow with the user admin because the user admin accounts has some acceptance automation in the backend side. Take a look here. At the top, we have an example token account with a balance of zero. And we're going to be swapping our Rare Assets for some example tokens. 
So as the issuer of the rare assets, I can go ahead and go in there and just hit swap. The app also provides a convenient feature for simulating a second user known as the default party, which allows you to connect to the app's user admin without knowing the party ID. And then I can say I want to swap all my rare asset accounts file for some example token, and I believe it's worth 1,000 example tokens. And here again, there's another learning blurb on how the atomic swaps work. But I will let you go and explore that yourself. Let me click on Request Swap. Now what happens is on the user admin side, it will automatically accept this swap. So when I go back into my asset account, I'll see a newly updated balance of example tokens, which should reflect 1,000, which is what I requested, and zero rare assets left, 1,000 example tokens, and I've swapped out all my rare assets. This concludes the swap workflow. One thing to note is that when you access this app on mobile, you can also access the learning material or the guide on the right-hand side by clicking on the question mark and as a toggle to hide or unhide. So that concludes the walkthrough of the sample wallet application built using Daml. I encourage you to run the live application yourself at wallet.daml.app. And remember the full source code to the app is on GitHub at github.com slash digital dash asset slash wallet dash sample dash app. Also, Take a look at the additional DAML training resources shown on this page. Thanks for watching and let us know how you liked this video.